All right, now let's look at how you can manually retopologize your model. So once you're done sculpting, instead of using automatic topology, you can go to the retopology room. Here you have access to all of the different retopology tools. And when you're using these tools, you'll be manually placing uh, vertices and polygons as opposed to having 3D code try and calculate that automatically. There are a handful of different ways that you can do this. So let's go over the basic ways that you can first create some geometry, and then we'll talk later on how to edit that geometry in order to get the best edge flow and the best um, polygonal density to work out for your model. So the very first tool up here is the add slash split tool. And the way this works is that you just place points of a polygon and you'll see it'll snap to an existing vertex. Just click and now we have a polygon. It's useful many times to turn on symmetry and then you'll see a preview of the uh, mirrored topology on the other side. I personally do not like using the ads split tool. I prefer another tool called points and faces. And the way this one works is that you place some vertices and then you'll see when you move your mouse in between them, uh, you'll get this little preview for what a polygon will look like and you just right click in order to place that. Using this tool, you can also move around the point. So if you right click on a vertex, you can move it around. So if you want to fine tune the placement, you get things looking just right. You can also use this tool to add in more divisions to a polygon. So if I didn't want to place every single one of these polygons by or vertices by hand, I could place say two down here and then if I hold down control I'll get this little edge preview and if I click I will start to cut that edge apart. So that's a very useful time-saving technique. Now sometimes like in this case right here I'm trying to create a polygon right there but it's not showing up. The points faces tool isn't perfect and especially when you're working with more complex shapes it will struggle to try and determine the polygon you're trying to make. So one tool that's more manual is the quads tool and the way that works is that you click on an edge and then you'll place the next point of the quadrilateral and then you'll place the final point and this will snap to existing vertices and those blue points that are made by the points and faces tool. And once you complete a quad it will be set and then you can continue drawing until you want to stop using the tool you can just hit escape. Now another really useful tool for making a large number of polygons very quickly is the strokes tool. And the way this one works is that you'll draw splines just like we did with manual retopology. So I'll draw some splines. And then I will draw more splines crossing over them and everywhere that these splines intersect is going to become a vertex. Once you have them all placed, if you just hit enter, then they will get filled out. Now if I don't like the placement of these, I don't like how they ended up, I can do some adjustments then by using the brush tool directly below it. And the way this works is that you can just slide around different polygons 
or more accurately different vertices along the surface of your high detail mesh. You can change the brush size just like we can in the sculpt room by right click and dragging. And if you hold down the shift key, you will actually start to relax the vertices. So the spacing in between them will become more evenly distributed. So that's a very good way to get very smooth lines. Now that smoothing does not work along the edges of a polygon shell, it only works on the points in the middle. So as you can see I can just start to add more points. Some and I can start to get some good topology working. Now you'll notice that these two different shells are different colors. And that's just something that 3D Coat does automatically in order to help you identify different polygon shells. If we were to merge them together, they would all become one color. When we get into UV unwrapping, different UV shells will also be colorized differently. Now once we have these polygons in place, let's say I connected those and I decided that that topology just isn't working, I can move down here to the edit geometry and I can start to delete polygons or delete edges. And if I delete edges, now you see that creates a non-quad, so it's usually useful if you hold down control you'll delete entire edge loops. So if your retopology mesh is being a little too dense and you need to lower your polygon count, this would be a good way to start. Now there's several additional tools here. So we've got things like collapse, which just allows you to merge vertices together. Another way to merge the vertices though is if you go back to the points and faces tool, if you drag two vertices over each other, you'll see one of them turns red. That means that one's going to be deleted and then they will be merged. But you can also use collapse. You can add in additional edge loops with the split rings tool. And once again, the points and faces tool has a utility for that. As I mentioned, if you hold down control, you'll add in those edge rings. So the points and faces tool, very powerful. Then you can also slide edges. So again, if you hold down control, it'll go to the entire edge ring. Now this won't work on the very edge of a shell. You'll see that this top edge can't move any higher than it already is. It can only move towards other existing vertices. That's very useful if you want to sort of redistribute some polygons, like right here if I wanted if I wanted to add in another edge loop here, but I wanted these polygons to all be evenly distributed, I could slide this over and then add in some new edge loops. So those are, how, those are ways that you can create and do some basic edits to your geometry. There are several other more advanced retopology tools that uh, have to do with selected edges, faces, and vertices, and I will discuss those in greater detail in the next video.